with this code you can uh, record your screen uh, it's what I do usually for my for my videos and you can you use ffmpeg now I'm in this little script to avoid rewriting uh, the same um, uh, the same video when you record more than one video uh, one after another so if you call it just output.mp4 uh, if you want to record another uh, video you have to change the name manually so I want to avoid this and I uh, into the ffmpeg um, code here um, commands to to record all uh, the, the the video screen with my own microphone that you have to check into your um, uh, your preferences and I'll make you see how to how to check what uh, where to get this uh, exact name to record your microphone and maybe you want also to adjust the the video sites of your screen and then there is the file name so the file name will be uh, output dot zero starting from this counter here if uh, there is no file that has this name uh, and after that you are gonna if there is another file called uh, output zero it will be called um, output one because it will be it will jump into this code here um, add a number and then start again uh, using uh, and checking if there is output one and if there is no output one dot mp4 it will be record uh, the file under this name you can also choose um, this other way to uh, in this way you will record in the same directory where uh, this code is instead if you have your um, your script anywhere and you can you can use this uh, to to make an absolute path to your um, to your file so that you can put your um, result uh, result output file into into another another folder um, respect to the to this script and I also used other two variables uh, audio and video sites here uh, to to easily change them in case you you, you have this need and you see this is a multi-line string with this F at the start that means format where you can uh, insert easily uh, some variables like this and the file name too and so that's uh, how I made this, um, this script and you can find it in, uh, in my blog